Yes, okay. as we are all getting ready to get our Comic-Con on. We are here. The moment is here. The stars <laughs> are even in town. Thousands yes. of people getting those costumes on as we speak. Mm -hmm. We got celebrities all over the place that are about to take over downtown and all the fans, of course. Comic-Con is back full scale for the first time now. In three years, people have been holding on to these tickets yeah. for three years now. CBS 8's Anna Laurel live in the San Diego Convention Center with access to the place that everybody wants to be. Yeah. Good morning, Anna. That's right. It is so much fun in here already. Did you just hear an announcement come on overhead? Because more and more activity is happening. People are starting to come into the booths, get them ready for everybody today. 135,000 tickets sold for this event this weekend. It's going to be packed down here. Of course, Comic-Con celebrates all things pop culture fandoms from TV shows to movies to comic strips and online gaming. Now, here's what you need to know if you're coming down here. We've got some video for you from previous Previous years, just to remind you how wild and crazy it can get. Um, public transit or a ride share drop off, probably your best bet to come down here. Harbor Drive between First Avenue and Park Boulevard. That's closed except for foot traffic. Now, if you do come down here, you'll see officers in uniform and others you may not see in plain clothes. Harbor Police, Private Security, Transit System Enforcement, and Convention Center Security, they'll all be here. And enforcement officers are zip-tagging any fake weapons that are part of a costume before anyone boards public transit. So they are trying to make sure they've got everything buttoned up and safe down here. Now, back out here on the convention floor, I'm with Keith Davidson. He's the director of IWD Publishing. We had to come over here because you guys look behind me. I said, oh my goodness, is this like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on steroids? And look, it is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes. Keith. Tell us, what is this about? So the original creators of the Ninja Turtles, uh, Peter uh, Laird and uh, Kevin Eastman, came back after 30 years to tell the story of what would be the last remaining turtle after all of his brothers have been uh, killed in action, and he's on a mission of vengeance. He looks angry. Yes, he is very angry. This yes. is a little different than the Ninja Turtles I watched when I was a kid. Yes, very much a mature a mature book for, for, for adults to enjoy. And it's really been popular. Oh, yeah. We we have over 850,000 copies of the comic in, in print, which is a monster hit for comics. And also, we've sold through tens of thousands of copies of the book uh, in just the past couple weeks. That's right, because the comic just came out like maybe a year and a half ago. So yes. a million copies already sold almost? Yes, that is, a again monster hit for comics. Okay, so what are people going to see when they come to your booth today? Well, we've designed our booth to look like a city, so if you wander around to the whole booth, you get to experience Godzilla smashing the uh, the environment. Uh, you can pose with the last Ronin. Um, you can see actual live art of, of people drawing Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, we have lots of exclusives. Uh, yeah, there's a big event for, for people to come to our booth and enjoy. And they'll get to buy some stuff, take some things home? Sure, buy stuff, uh, get some creator signatures, um, uh, again, plenty of photo ops for Instagram and really Snapchat. Fun. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's cool, and you're going to be here through Sunday. Yes. Okay, guys, much. remember, 135,000 tickets sold. People bought these yeah. tickets in 2019, yeah. so this is the first full-scale event for them since 2019, so Woo. Yeah. exciting down Huge here. Huge TMNT fan as a kid <laughs> coming out the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael, <laughs> Raphael Michelangelo. I'm curious what his favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle yeah. was, since well, he's such a pro with that. Does he have a favorite? <laughs> Is he still there? Yeah. Raphael? <laughs> I think Raphael. My brother's watched it. No, but let me show you. This is, I was actually more interested. Okay, in let's see. Look, you guys, my oh, little pony. Oh, yeah, there we go. I like that. Oh, see, I want to see some uh, costumes like that. Yeah, there you yeah. go. No, not so Unicorns. angry, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> Anna, thank this you. This is my speed. There yes. you go. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> Let's get a closer look at the uh, closures due to Comic-Con. Evan, keeping an eye on that. Uh, something we all need to be uh, weary of. Here. Yeah, no big surprise here. We're going to be seeing plenty of closures right along Harbor Drive in downtown San Diego along the San Diego Convention Center from First Avenue through that pedestrian bridge that connects us with Petco Park. There is also the stipulation that if you're walking around the area for the stairs leading up to and the sidewalks around the Convention Center, only badged members, meaning attendees, exhibitors of Comic-Con, will be able to walk around that area. 
area. The only exception to all of this is the parking structure that is underneath the San Diego Convention Center that is managed by ACE. Those are the only people with a uh, pass that allows them to park under the Convention Center that will be allowed to pass through Harbor Drive. So keep that in mind for any travel plans you've got. First Avenue all the way through that pedestrian bridge going to be closed from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. today all the way through Sunday. Back to you. Evan, thank you for that heads up. Yeah, that's a good good piece of advice right there. Where to avoid. Uh, let's check in with our other CBS 8 characters. Meanwhile, outside Lou and Mickey's, the battle for justice continues. Yes. The Flash and Catwoman join us live with all the fun to go. be had outside. Woo uh, is, that what, is that what you were asking <laughs> for? Where did that voice come from? <laughs> Our narrator must be somewhere around uh, here. Yes, in my so ear, definitely. Perfect, Eric. Oh, I uh, love that. Perfect. Perfect. Huh? Yeah. Oh, we are having way too much fun down here. The energy is already building. We're seeing people make their way into the convention. Sarah, I'd love at least it doesn't yeah. open just yet. <laughs> um, but if you're not going to Comic Con, there are still so many things to do in the downtown area, as well as the Comic Con Museum, which is open all year long, Chris. All year long, and we actually have a really, really great exhibit that is going on right now. The Spider Man exhibit. It's something yes. we were able to show you firsthand, but I want to give you a little bit of a, a deeper look at the web slinger and maybe some right. of the things that you might be able to do while you're there. Exactly. And this is this means bring your phone and get ready to Instagram, Twitter, TikTok whatever because the photo ops are awesome. The world met Spider-Man in 1962 and he remains a legend today. So this is your chance to immerse yourself in his world through this incredible exhibit. Now my first thought is what are the best photo ops? So I'm going to walk you through all the best life-size photo characters to get that perfect pose and tell me out are these two guys here show me how it's done. That's pretty nice. Look at that Spider-Man. Now if you're feeling like moving over to the dark side, channel your inner Doc Ock. This is the place to be. Now look at the detail and just the amazing artwork that comes to life within this exhibit. And this is your chance to jump into the Spider-Verse, take a look at all the different renditions over the years. And as you leave the exhibit, don't forget to take your photo with uh, Spider-Ham, also known as Peter Porker. Get your phone out, take that Instagram photo, tag the Comic-Con Museum because you are not going to want to miss all these awesome photo ops. Sorry, just sorry, guys. Selfie. Just <laughs> with all the costumes that are going on right now, you can't help but take just a couple dozen selfies, if you will. In fact, we've already posted a couple yes. on our Instagram account, having a lot of fun here at Lou and Mickey's, and uh, kind of got. Uh, I'll be honest, you know, Dana Marie, uh, there was that that video you had of me drinking my coffee. <laughs> uh, kind of got me by surprise there. I'll be yeah. honest. Check out very sneaky, Catwoman. Yeah, very sneaky. Follow us yeah. on social media. You can see our view and eyes uh, here. But there are so many opportunities to post on social media. Oh, yeah. absolutely. What it you're is not a seeing media is that out here. there's someone else with an interesting mask on. Black is Panther, that baby. Oh, Black yeah, Panther. We're so we're That's taking, what's happening. We're taking selfies, selfies in here all too. around. Okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, thank you. Have fun out there. We'll check back with you soon. <laughs> Love the get-ups. Perfect, guys. Yep. <laughs>